Go. Okay, so these guys are the F9. Well, uh, you can see the uh, branded identity on the front. You, it's uh, that's the PF8 we just saw. Oh, the B shape, light blue. One thing that's really called attention on the VF9 is this entrance. Maybe you can show here. Yeah. The, some scope there. Mm -hmm. and the purpose of this uh, is to have a, a better <coughs> aerodynamic, yeah. not only style. Since we are in an EV and we don't need uh, so much our intake, air intake as uh, in the ice vehicles, so we, the decision was to use this for creating design. Different design, no? They're not, you don't see it everywhere, <laughs> but to create a better aerodynamic on the intake, so really nice. One aspect we can show you here on the side of the car, ah, maybe mentioning the wheels. On the eco version, we have a 20 inch wheel. On the plus version, it will be 21 inch. So it's a slightly bigger uh, wheel. And also, we have different design from eco and plus design. Okay. On the dark side, we have the future. It's different random one. But you just need to push it open. Okay. Or you can push. Yeah. Or you push and you grab here. You don't need to wait. Okay. Is there a name for this styling element? This pinch that occurs here? Is there a name for that? Or? Not that I'm no. aware of. Okay. <laughs> Not okay. that I'm aware of. <laughs> Maybe there is. But yes. <laughs> uh, one function that we have in all the doors in the VF9, all the first is the soft closing. So ah, I see. see. It closes up it by itself. Yes. Uh, we have here on the back, we have the Kicking sensor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and you don't have you have your hands open. Uh, on the production version, of course, this is going to go higher. Mm -hmm. This is one of the conditions of pre production. Of yes. The calibration is not finished, but this is the the truck from our model, and again, which is bigger than capacity uh, volume measurements not uh, stated yet. No, not stated yet. But you, as you can see. Compared with VF8, it's bigger. No? The car is bigger. We the, the Google Lens to invite the journalist number 11, yes. Miss Javaki. Same space for the spare wheel kit, repair wheel. It's okay. Yeah. We'll take him. We can fix in a moment. <laughs> yes. Yes, pre-production. So this is the, the truck, which you can, of course, you have the third row option. You just need to push here. This is supposed to be done by from the inside. Okay? Yes, of course. It's easier. <laughs> yep. So you can pull up the two extra seats. Please. Could you hold? I will set, put down the second row. Yes. So down three this. three way seat fold. Yes. This is the so it's a uh, 40 20 40 potentially split in the second row. Yes, quite a good length. Do you know the le overall length of the vehicle? I uh, would need to check that. I don't have my, my heart. Yes. Yes. Again, just looking to compare to existing segments. Yes. yes. Of course. Visual appearance, it seems to be longer, one of the longest. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yes. for other uh, three-row SUVs. So and the uh, battery power. Battery power uh, is it? Uh, we have in this car, the, in the F9, we have uh, 92 for the initial battery pack version. Uh, for the initial battery pack version, we have uh, a battery of 92 kilowatt kilowatt hour. Uh, this for the launching, we are developing already with uh, another supplier, uh, a bigger and a better capacity of battery. And also, VFS is working on to do the work on the development of an in-house cell. Robert. Because today we make the battery pack in-house. Yes. Yes. The, the battery cell are, are from suppliers. 
but being, being group with BES, they are working and had ambition to produce the Lula's in first, the journalist number 12, so Mr. Mario Ante. We don't have a date, nothing, not, no promise <laughs> about timing for the moment, but it's an intention and the people are... Number 12, Mike Ante. And the, on the powertrain side, we have the same uh, same configuration as BF8. We have uh, an e-motor on the front and the, and the here exit. Of course, we have different calibration for each car right? uh, because of uh, the size, weight, of course. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the range on this car, we have a larger battery pack. The range goes for the e-conversion for 430 kilometers and the e-conversion for uh, 400. In, no. Sorry, Eco 430 and Nuzin 420 kilometers. WLTP. Thank you. Welcome.